Hey, hello there. Uh, today's Lee Coding Challenge question is called the Reconstruct the Itinerary. So we have a list of flight tickets. Uh, each ticket is represented by the two airports, the departure and arrival airport pairs. So we have a list of tuples uh, to represent this uh, uh, sequence of uh, flights. Uh, so we want to reconstruct the itinerary in order. So we have to uh, list the starting city, the destination city, and all the intermediate, intermediate city we're going to visit along the toll, uh, along the trips. Uh, so that's uh, what the question is asking. Uh, all the tickets belong to a man who departed from JFK, so JFK has to be the first city on the itinerary. Here are a couple of notes. Uh, if there are multiple valid itinerary, we would prefer the itinerary with the smallest lexical graphic order. So if we can uh, go from, from JFK to either LGA or LGB, if both of those will lead to a final valid itinerary, we will prefer LGA because if we align those two together, uh, the first of five are the same. GA is smaller than B, so we prefer uh, to go this one. The second thing is that all the airports is represented by three capital letters. So that uh, this is quite important because if we have airport that's four letter, five letters, and some airport that's three letters. Um, in the code, uh, we, we really do have to generate all the itinerary in order to figure out uh, the lexicographic order. Otherwise, if it's a, the problem set case, every city has exactly three letters, uh, we can just uh, compare the two cities, uh, two, two airports now, to figure out uh, which one is going to result in for, result for a smaller lexicographic order uh, sequence in the end. Uh, so. This is uh, quite important. The third thing is that uh, we may assume that all the tickets form at least a one valid itinerary. So we don't have to do feasibility check. It's guaranteed to um, have at least a one solution to the um, problem. Fourth thing is that uh, we must use all the tickets once and only once. Um, that makes sense. Uh, if you have already taken the flights, how can you take the use the tickets one more time? Uh, so let's think about this question in terms of a graph. Um, I, can, I think it's quite obvious. Uh, we have to treat uh, all the airports as individual nodes here and the edge is going to be directed edge. It's going to be from the uh, uh, departure uh, node to the arrival node. So that's that. And this question now is basically uh, doing a traverse inside this graph from the given specified uh, source city at JFK, uh, airport JFK, to some unknown destination airport. And this question is asking us to explore the whole graph by uh, explore all the edge exactly once. And uh, if there are multiple ways of doing this uh, traverse inside the graph, we prefer one that's uh, lexically graphic, uh, graphically smallest. So at any given position, any given airport, we have multiple choices. Uh, we can try to go to the. We can always try to go, try to uh, you know continue building this uh, itinerary by go to the um, lexically graphically smallest uh, next step, and see what happens. If uh, if that doesn't pan out, uh, we backtrack and see. Hey, uh, maybe from JFK, I really shouldn't go to LGA, but I should go to maybe LGB instead, even though LGB is lexically graphically larger. Because if I try, because I when I try LGA, at least a dead end. So I have to go back and go LGB first. So that that's uh, uh, that's the big idea. So for this kind of search BFS is definitely not in our choice because BFS uh, we're not really looking for a shortest path between source and the destination so BFS is out of the consideration and to be able to backtrack and uh, explore other branches uh, that, that leads us to think about the DFS search and this question is pretty similar to top coming up with a topological sort uh, because it's uh, asking for some kind of ordering um, but the difference between topological sort and this one is that uh, uh, this question is asking us to use all the edge exactly once. Uh, so let's let's draw a bigger graph and do some reasonings how, how to do this. So we're going to do a DFS search. Uh, so we, we're going to have this uh, temporary toe as a stack. Uh, it's going to be similar to topological sort. Uh, we will just put the partial temporary considered uh, pass onto this tool. 
uh, once we are at any given time that we are pretty sure the city's the airport can be moved onto the itinerary that's the time we move that on down to the second line there and uh, and you can see it's pretty much going to be the post order because when we make a mistake we will realize that uh, we, we shouldn't be there yet so let's just look at the, the source we're starting from jfk uh, we just be greedy there there are two choices we can either go to a or z so we want to go to a because a is uh, smaller it will lead to uh, if it's valid it will lead to a smallest uh, 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 smaller lexical graphical order itinerary so we just keep going until we reach c uh, how do I? Why? Why I lose the color? Uh, does it work? Okay, it's it's not the same blue, but it, but I, I guess it's fine. Uh, once we reach uh, airport C, we have two choices. We can either go to DZ or DST. Uh, if we just be greedy, we want to go to DST, the destination airport. So the toll right now will look like uh, JFK to A to B to C to DST. Now we find that DST is actually a dead end. So that's telling us, hey, DST is the final destination. You're not supposed to be here yet. So we're going to push this back to move this back to the itinerary and go back to C, backtrack to the prior city and see if there are other alternatives we actually need to explore before we go here. So we get rid of this. Uh, I'm just going to color it blue, green then. So uh, the only choice now is to go from C to DZ. From DZ, we actually have two choices. We can either go to CB or go to E. If we go to the try the lexical graphically smallest, we go to CB, it will lead to C. Once we reach C, uh, because we have already used up all the two flight tickets, uh, this green and uh, blue one is currently on the toll, and the green one is actually uh, reserved for the final visit to the final destination. So that means, see, at this given moment is actually a dead end. So since that uh, it's a dead end, uh, that means we have to go backtracking. So we have to go back to CB, it has no other choice, so we have to go back to DZ and, and actually explore E. So before we do that, uh, we're just gonna put, push this onto the uh, itinerary. So it has to be C and uh, CB and DZ. Uh, basically popping this out and uh, explore E. So E after E, it's pretty uh, smooth. It's gonna be F and G, and go back to DZ again. Uh, at this time, that DZ is actually um, a, a, a dead end now because we used the, the link to EFG. The pass leads to EFG, and also we reserved this for the final. So, so when um, so this time when we uh, this time when we reach DZ, uh, it's a it's a dead end. So we push this back to here. So let me see uh, if this is a problem. We go here. So it's a uh, DZ CB C uh, DST, and here it will be. Uh, I, I think this is a. Uh, Oh, oh. Uh, I, I shouldn't have a DZ here. So th this is the first time I will put the, the DZ uh, onto this itinerary. And then just gonna keep doing that. G, F, E, DZ again. And then C, B, a, yeah, basically everything, uh, everything here. Go all the way back to JFK uh, because we find that uh, we actually have to explore 
uh, the other branch of JFK. Uh, so that's going to be something like that. Uh, the, the exploration of that part is similar to what we have here. Uh, when we reach a dead end, uh, when we reach the, uh, you know, use up a, a sort of like a getting to a dead end, uh, like, like in the node C or DZ, uh, when we use up all the edges, either used or reserved at the edge, um, and visit that node one more time, um, that's the time we push that node back to the, uh, the itinerary. So um, I, I hope you can see the uh, idea. It's basically DFS search. When we reach the dead end, we should go backtrack and see, try to explore other alternative branches and hold off the greedy uh, exploration based on the lexical graphic order. And doing that, uh, we will be able to uh, come up with the correct uh, uh, lexically, graphically smallest uh, itinerary. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's, let's just code this thing up really quickly. So we have the flights. Uh, I'm just going to convert this uh, from uh, edge listing to adjacency list. Um, I think they have already imported the collections now. And the, the container of choice for the linked list, uh, for the adjacency list, and for my case right now, is going to be uh, DAC. Uh, I want to use a queue. So for each, each, uh, each city, when I have multiple choices, uh, I'm going to sort those based on lexical graphical order so that uh, I will just take the first. Uh, take the first out it's going to be the popping from the left of a deck uh, of a queue for france city uh, and uh, two city uh, airports in these tickets and i want to sort them so the smallest to the largest uh, i'll just uh, append those two here So that's uh, uh, graph processing from edges. Then we uh, have the reverse the itinerary and uh, the stack to be empty and the JFK. Um, and then we're just gonna do search until we run out of uh, uh, run out of uh, uh, airport we should visit. So that's this. So the condition is that uh, uh, when we initially at the JFK, that's gonna be the top of the stack. We will look at uh, the place we can go. Uh, that's by peeking to the adjacency list. And we want to find uh, try to try to build out the toe by visiting the lexical graphically smallest the next step. So that's file flat uh, the top elements uh, on the stack, and it still have next stop. We want to go to uh, we want go there. We we we, we want to. Uh, put that city onto the stack. So let's just call this toll of stack. I'm popping from the left because when I uh, populating this adjacency list, it's sorted uh, by the uh, you know if the first the city is the first airport is Thai the destination city is sorted by the lexical graphic order so if i pop from left i will always get the, the lexical graphically smaller next to the destination so after i so basically this loop is gonna keep traverse until i reach a dead end dst uh, in this case so at that time i will uh, after this while loop it will be the post order i, I will push this onto the itinerary So I can, yeah, so 
I can actually use this as a deck too. So I can just pen left. So so in the end I don't have to do the reverse. So it will be stacked or pop. In the end I will just return the itinerary. Uh, so let's see if it works. Nope. Uh, oh, okay, sorted. About this time. My order is JFK, Mark. Um, seems okay. Let's try submit. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so here is the DFS search uh, solution to this question. Um, yeah, uh, post order. Once we visited the node, visited all the um, possible next stops when, when we were backtracking uh, that's, the, that's the time we put the, push this onto the itinerary and uh, uh, yeah that's it alright <laughs>